Hey guys, I'm Googie, and today I'm going to be showing you about how Will Smith essentially got rewarded for slapping Chris Rock in the face by the Prince of Dubai, by the Crown Prince of Dubai, I might add. So check this out. Will Smith laying low in Dubai? According to a new report, he has fled Los Angeles and is holed up in the desert kingdom 8,000 miles across the globe. Days after... Oh yes, I'm pretty sure he is trying to lay low now. Just except for when you're a uh, a lesser celebrity, it's pretty hard to lay low after you slap a comedian in the face on national television at the Oscars at an event that people across the globe watch hold up in the desert kingdom 8,000 miles across the globe days after the oscar slap will was flown by the crown prince of dubai to the middle eastern kingdom writes entertainment columnist roger friedman so he could cool out while his bad press burns i love this town Oh, so he can cool out while his bad press burns. Okay, yeah, it's pretty interesting that the crown prince is like, hey man, I think you should take a vacation. You know, I just um, chill out. Like all of this bad publicity, all of this bad press and everything, it'll eventually die down and like people will eventually forget. But meanwhile, why don't you come here and take a vacation with us? Like, why don't you come, why don't you come visit us and just hang out? You know, like it's all chill, it's all Gucci. <clears throat> but yeah, it must be so hard to deal with the consequences of your actions. It must, be, it must be so hard that now you need a vacation. I mean, if you're going to give a vacation to anybody, I mean, give it to Chris Rock. He was the one who was slapped in the face. I mean, he might need some time away from people like Will Smith and like a bunch of people that Will Smith knows. You know, I just like... um time away from people, you know, like he's the one who might really need the vacation. But anyways, he might not even want the vacation because his shows are selling out. And I'm pretty sure he's already made over a million dollars from this incident, like just talking about it, like on stage. Smith and the Crown Prince are pals from way back. Smith visits often, enjoying all the fringe benefits the wealthy nation has to offer. About to check in my room, Dubai, the city of surprises including indoors okay so you see here the reason why this is happening it's well it's not what you know it's who you know see how he built a strong rapport with the crown prince of dubai and how he made that a strong connection because he's already visited multiple times as a famous actor like and they've already hung out many times already and not only that he actually promotes dubai like he says like come look look how cool dubai is right like um i mean he's showing us the fancy hotel that he's staying in so all right just got my room and he doesn't even have to say much just shows his room and say all right i got my room and then like people like would think oh well, dubai is cool like it's free advertising for dubai like oh my god really well will smith is in dubai well, we should like um, buy tickets. We should go see Dubai, right? So when people visit Dubai, that actually increases more business activity happening in Dubai. And that actually helps with their gross domestic product. And it helps with their economy too. Like when they get much more tourists from one celebrity saying that they're checking into their hotel room in Dubai. Check in my room, Dubai, the city of surprises, including indoor skiing and skydiving. Last year, he made a documentary, Best Shape of My Life in Dubai. Well, it looks like someone's having a lot of fun here. If you just like take a look at this couple here. Including indoor skiing and skydiving. Last year, he made a documentary, Best Shape of My Life in Dubai. Whoa, is that the Burj Al Arab? I think like that's one of the fanciest hotels in Dubai. They're actually pretty famous too, I think.
they're known as a seven star hotel, if I'm not mistaken. It's like one of the best hotels in Dubai. Whoa, dude. I mean, Will Smith kind of prospered from the slap too. So, I mean, it's like one hell of a gift that Will Smith got from the Crown Prince of Dubai. Back home, Will Smith's high powered agents at CAA reportedly considered kicking him to the curb after his Oscar meltdown. But for now, they've decided to stick with him. CAA denies the report. So we don't know if anything happened with the CAA, like if it's true or not. But let's just say it is, right? In the event that they were considering dropping him, but they're holding back off on it, I think they're just saying that they're considering dropping him just to sound good to the public ears. But then what they mean when they say that they're... Um, holding off on that for now, what they mean is that they think is that they're still holding on to him throughout the entire process, but it's just that they think people are gonna forget eventually and all this thing will blow over and then like, uh, they didn't really drop Will Smiths, but. Oh. And we're learning more about Chris Rock's reaction to the slap scene around the world. Why didn't he do more to protect himself? Instead of moving out of the way, he put both his hands behind his back, smiled and said, uh oh. <laughs> it turns out that Rock has a psychological disorder known as NVLD, nonverbal learning disability. From one of the Oscars producers to say, like, oh yeah, why didn't Chris Rock just move out of the way? Like, nonverbal learning disability or not, like, you don't expect to be slapped on stage at the Oscars on national TV and from the entire world. You just wouldn't expect it. I mean, like, maybe he was leaning in to listen to what Will Smith was going to say, but I don't think anyone would have expected that slap to come. But wow, what the Oscars producers did was a classic example of victim blaming. Like, why didn't he move out of the way? if he knew Will Smith was coming to him because he didn't expect the slap. Anyways, guys, that's just my take on this issue. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment space. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, bell notifications, and share. I'm Googie.